if you have an application on your Facebook page that looks like this, you want to pay attention to this video. All right, and here's why. Facebook has depreciated FBML. Now, what is FBML? FBML means Facebook Markup Language, type of code that developers have used in the past. But if I go over to the developer site, there's a note here. It says FBML has been depreciated. It's gone. Stops working on June 6th. That's last month. And it will be completely removed on July 5th. Okay? So this code will no longer work. Okay? So the first thing is to, you know, basically check and see if you have this. If you have an app that looks like this, you may have a problem. If you click on this and you look at it, um, you know, you might want to look at, oh, okay, there's a video that's supposed to render here. It's not rendering because it is using some FBML to display the video and that FBML is obviously no longer working. Okay, so we don't get a video here. The other thing that we notice here is that there's supposed to be an image right here displaying no image. There's probably some FBML tags associated with the image. Really look at your tab, see if there's an issue. If there's an issue, you know you need to work on the code a little bit. The second thing is to know that the new width of custom tabs is now 810 pixels across. Okay, so it looks like somebody attempted to make this a little bit wider but really didn't finish the job. But let me go to uh, another Facebook page that I absolutely love and let's go to these guys. So they have static FBML. If I click on this, they have an image that is kind of narrow. You log into your page, go to manage permissions or you know somewhere in the back end of your Facebook page and there's a tab called apps. You go to apps and you'll notice, oh there's my static FBML application. Great click on go to app. Just click on go to app. You grab the code. Okay, you're going to grab the code, copy, all right? So I'm just going to paste this, okay? This is just, you know, raw HTML, some styling, and then we have some issues here like a Facebook tag right here, FBML, a, a Facebook markup language type of tag that's trying to display a video, but because Facebook um, no longer supports this and depreciated it, it's not rendering. That's why you're not seeing the video. Okay? Take the embed code from a YouTube video or Vimeo or whatever, paste it into here, you're good to go. You also want to go through this and get rid of any other Facebook markup type of language and address any of those issues. Okay? If we go to the uh, Facebook developer site and we look, there's a, there's a section, Facebook markup language FBML, Okay, FBML is going to be depreciated. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you can see some examples of um, FBML code and a lot of information in here. But basically, you want to go through your code and, you know, get rid of any of it and, and address any issues that need to be addressed. All right. The second thing you want to do, as I mentioned, is you want to kind of replace those images, any images that you have that are, you know, uh, 520 pixels or 518 pixels, and you intend for those images to be the full width of a custom tab, you want to update those images so that they are now 810 pixels. Okay, so, you know, take into consideration the overall width of the custom tabs that you now have to work with, all right? So it's a bigger canvas, basically. Okay, so now we have our code. Let's just say that we updated the code, all right, and we're good to go. We have it right here, in fact, okay. And what we do now is we actually have to add it to um, a custom tab, right? But we're not going to use our static FBML application anymore. We're going to actually get rid of this. So I'm going to click on delete. I click on the X. I've removed the app. No problems at all. It's gone. Okay, now what I do is I go and I look for an application called Static HTML iframe tabs. This is, uh, you know, the, one of the most popular free third-party apps to create custom tabs with. Okay, so I just go to this app. I click on Add Static HTML to a page. I click on that, and then I select the page from the drop-down menu. Brain Aneurysm Foundation, I'm good to go. I click on Add Static HTML iframes tabs. All right, I'm good to go. All right. Now, if we go back to our page and I click Expand, notice I have a new tab here, a new icon here, and this is actually the icon for that app. 
all I have to do is click on this icon and then I go directly to the app all right now in the app uh, they actually have you know how to's and a lot of other things back here that you can use but basically what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna paste our content directly into the tab okay so I'm gonna grab our code that we have I'm gonna select it I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it directly in here okay so I have my code in here I'm good to go I click on save changes um, I have an opportunity to preview it so now I'm previewing the tab I've addressed a few things here. I have an image that's 810 pixels across. All right, that other image didn't render and it was too narrow. Okay, I fixed a few other things like the navigation menu was a little too small. It looked a little wonky. I have the text here. It looks beautiful. I scroll down a little bit. YouTube videos ready to go. I click on play. Got my video. Bullet points down here. A link. So forth. We're all set. So we're almost done. If we go back to the uh, front of the page we want to change the order of the icon all right so what I want to do is I want to go to that icon again I click on expand and what I want to do is I want to swap this with another tab let's say right here I want to take this icon and stick it up in the far right so I just simply go mouse over the icon once I've expanded these by the way I click on expand I see all of my tabs or views I click on the pencil icon and I swap positions with sign the petition so I swap positions with that the next thing I want to do is I want to change this icon white star in a gray background isn't going to work for this organization I click on the pencil icon click on edit settings I can change the name of the tab right here I click on save now I want to change the image so I click on change opens up a new tab in my browser I click on the link here change I click on choose file and then I upload an image to Facebook. Now the dimensions here are 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels tall. Okay. Once I do that, I can simply, you know, X out of this tab. I click on OK, and this is what the Facebook page now looks like to the world. So if I go here, great, share your stories. What is a brain aneurysm? I click on here. I go to this custom tab. I'm good to go. So that's how to update your broken static FBML tabs. Bye.